Today we're going to talk about setting up back button focus on your Nikon Z9. Let's dive in. So one of the first things I do when I get a new camera body is set it up for back button focus. I do it with my Nikon bodies, I do it with my Fuji bodies. I, pretty much every camera manufacturer out there now allows you to, to do this. Um, and the process that I'm going to show you today on the, on the Z9 will be very similar to the Z5, Z6, all the Z series Nikon cameras. Um, as well as it'll be very similar to like Fuji bodies. Fuji calls it something different, um, but the process will be the same. If you're interested uh, to know how to set up a Fuji for back button focus, let me know down in the comments. But anyways, if you found this video, you probably already know all about back button focus. But if you're new to photography or you're new to this concept, let me just give you a brief overview real quick. Now, when the camera ships from the manufacturer, the way autofocus is set up it's, it is that if you half press the shutter button, it's going to engage autofocus. And then you press the shutter button the rest of the way and it'll trip the shutter and you'll take your photo. The problem with that is that sometimes your focus point is on an area where it's difficult for the autofocus to lock on to a subject and when you fire that shutter it's hunting still and your shot is out of focus. So by decoupling the shutter and the autofocus it allows you to get more uh, shots in focus. So highly recommended. <laughs> the other thing that's nice about it is that it allows you to stay in autofocus continuous mode but still kind of use the camera like it's in autofocus single mode. Let me demonstrate that real quick. Okay, as you can see, I'm in autofocus continuous at the top. And the real nice thing, like I was saying, the nice thing about back button focus is that you can stay in autofocus continuous, but still use it like you were in autofocus single if, if, if you need to. So typically autofocus single is used for stationary subjects where you want to focus and then maybe recompose. So I'll demonstrate that with back button focus. So we've got my coffee mug and that is my subject. I'm going to go ahead and just bring up the brightness a little bit so we can see. There we go. And it's in focus now. So now I'm going to recompose my shot. Amazing. <laughs> and so now you can see where the focus point is. The focus point is on my monitor in the back. Now if I, were, if I didn't have back button focus set up, when I trip that shutter, it would actually focus on my monitor and I wouldn't get the shot that I'm, I'm wanting. But since I have back button focus set up, when I go to take the picture, I'm not going to do it because it'll kick off my recording, but when I go to take the photo, since I don't have autofocus linked to my shutter button, it will just take the shot and it won't refocus, which is awesome. Now, if I want to use it like I'm in continuous autofocus, I can. All I have to do is keep the autofocus on button pressed. And as that subject moves, it's going to keep the subject in focus. Now, when I'm ready to trip the shutter, all I have to do is press the shutter button and bam, I got, I got my photo. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of benefits to using back button focus. Uh, now let's dig into the menu and, and set it up. So we want to press the menu button and then we want to go down and highlight the pencil icon for your custom settings menu. Drop down to controls and we're just going to check to make sure that your autofocus on button is mapped properly. If, you're, if this is the first time setting up your camera, it, it should be, uh, but we're just going to double check. So we're going to go down to F2 for the Nikon Z9. Now if you're on a Z5, Z6, or Z7, it may be numbered a little bit differently. Uh, go to your custom control shooting, 
and then highlight the AF on button, which is uh, right next to your back dial there. You can see it in yellow. And it should say AF on next to it. If it doesn't, then just press OK and find the AF on and highlight it and press OK again, and it'll be mapped properly. OK, so then we'll press the menu button to go back. And now what we need to do is go up to the A or focus submenu under custom settings menu and then drop down to autofocus activation. So on the Z9, that's A6, and we wanna make sure that's off. Now, if this is the first time that you're doing this, it's going, it's, it's going to say on. And so what you'll do is you'll hit the right arrow and you'll drop it down. So yours should be on shutter AF on. So it looked like that. You hit the right arrow, you go down to AF on only, so now your shutter button's just tripping the shutter and is not activating your autofocus. So that is it for back button focus. Not too terribly complicated and will definitely increase your hit rate for in focus shots. If this video was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified when new videos are released. Down in the comments, let me know what you would like to see me cover in this channel. And until next time, see you later.